tech rabbit here. So I just um, go over the um, soldering stations I have. So when you migrate from um, breadboard construction into the next phase, then you probably would like to um, make your own circuit boards. And um, usually one starts with um, so-called hole-through circuit boards, where the components are inserted right through the um, board through holes Something like that yeah and um, in the good old days when I started electronics you actually could get away with just having a simple um, um, soldering station you know, single arm a few tip, tips about your um, suction tool so you can remove access desolder stuff and then you have the um, desoldering wick so you can actually use that to um, soak up the extra solder and usually you need it just one size and type of solder and then you can get along with simple cut up cutting tools and simple pliers but then you know things got a little bit advanced and then um, more and more of um, surface mount components started appearing on the market and this also applied to like hobbyist um, activities if one wanted to for example rip, even fix these or yeah, replace a part or modify a circuit or something then one um, had to deal with the uh, surface mount components or even make small boards for one's own use and then you got into this side of the operation and um, now this is a, a combined um, uh, standard soldering iron plus a SMD soldering capability which is actually it's a hot air gun And you have um, individual temperature control both for the soldering iron and for the hot air gun. And then you need a bunch of other accessories. So um, it's not good enough just to have the solder. You, you actually need to have um, a flux agent, um, hopefully in a syringe. And then you need to have um, uh, also in some cases you need the solder paste. And I've actually run out of solder paste, but you can also get the solder paste in. Uh, I find it for small batch handling, having it in a syringe is actually very convenient. But it does come with some um, nice benefits, these, these soldering arms. Um, you know, this one and other types, there's many, many, many different types. But they, they usually come, you can buy them as a kit, so they're, you, they can already get the basic accessories, like here, for example, you can get a lot of different um, heads. And you have the tools for um, pasting the, um, uh, the um, solder paste on sten using stencils. That's met a metallic sheet that comes with the PCB order, um, uh, where, where it actually has cuts in it, um, in the locations where you need to ha actually apply the solder paste. So what you do is that then you take the this board here. You can take the board and then you can put the stencil on top of it and then you can just paste the um, solder paste on top of it. And when you take the stencil away then it only has the solder paste on the points you need. But I haven't I haven't got such boards. Um, I haven't made such boards but, uh, but you can actually when you order the circuit board you can order the stencil also if you want. Um, and then in addition to that those parts then you have different air air nozzles and that's actually good because then you can actually use this hot air for other usages for example you can use this um, shrinking hose type of material so you can actually apply these to wires and then shrink wrap it um, with the hot gun Also, the hot gun can be actually useful when you're actually removing even the through hole components because you can actually heat, heat up the chip a little bit extra with this one. Um, and then, um, 
move it either, easier. I've actually had situations where I've actually used the conventional soldering iron and the sucking method and then it's still very stuck in the in its location so uh, I just use a bit of extra heat from here um, then you can just take it out. And then you have a, <coughs> a little suction mechanism here. So the idea with this combined with the suction cup, different types of very small suction cups you can't really even see on the camera. Uh, then you can actually suck up a, um, actually have an example, like here are some capacitors. <laughs> so in each of those individual little cabinets there's a small capacitor, so then you can actually get a hold of that and to be able to actually position it on the board. And then you have the um, prerequisite number of different types of tweezers, different um, packages will contain different types of tweezers. So that's that's um, basically my my combination of um, soldering stations and, and with these two I get most of the uh, the, um, the stuff that I, I do you know, done. And um, the, these these things aren't that expensive. I mean, even if it, yeah, this one or even one that has a little bit more features, it, it, the the cost has gone down a lot. I mean, it's probably probably this whole configuration it cost me less than what I paid for for the single weller st station when I bought. <laughs> so anyway, if you found um, this video interesting, consider subscribing. Hit the like button. Um, I got some merch available. Uh, if you'd like to buy me a cup of coffee as a thank for this um, video, that would be great. The links are in the description. And um, I'll see you in the next one.